Hey everybody, Pastor Steven Anderson here from Faith Forward Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. I've been soul winning now for 20 years, virtually every week, and specifically here in Arizona, I've been soul winning for 13 years. And if you don't know what soul winning is, that's basically just where we go door to door, um, inviting people to church, but primarily asking people if we can show them how to know for sure that they go to heaven when they die, and just you know, offering to present the gospel to them. And if people aren't interested, you know, I can't get out of there fast enough because I'm looking for people who are actually interested. There are plenty of people out there who want to talk, they want to hear the gospel, and they want to know that they're going to heaven. And so that's who I'm looking for when I go soul winning. And if people aren't interested, then it's just, all right, have a great day and just move on to the next door. Well, lately the police have been just harassing us so much and constantly coming out. And, and look, like I said, I've been doing this for a long time. And in the early days of our church, it would be maybe like once a year that the police would come out or, or once every year and a half or you know, maybe once every six months or something. It, it was a very rare occurrence. But just literally in the last two to three years, it's getting to the point of ridiculousness where the cops are showing up on an almost weekly basis. You know, our church has like 13 different soul winning times per week. And the cops are just constantly be, being called. My specific soul winning time on Wednesdays, uh, we've had the cops called three weeks in a row back to back when we were out soul winning. And it's, it's different towns. Uh, sometimes it's Phoenix, sometimes it's Tempe, sometimes it's Chandler. And um, just this last Sunday, the cops were called on our soul winners. And then uh, last night, the police showed up and literally arrested some of our soul winners. Two of them were released, but then because two of them were visiting from out of state, they had to spend the night in jail and, and are supposedly being released today. And but all of them citationed. I mean, it's just insane. This has never happened before in all the many years that we've been going soul winning. And I, I think there's a couple reasons why. First of all, it's because of the fact that our culture is just getting so anti-Christian. You know, you'd expect if, if people aren't interested in church, they're not interested in the gospel, they don't want to talk about the Bible, they could just say no thanks and that'd be the end of it. But we're increasingly running into people who are just hateful and just super angry before you even open your mouth. Like, you just walk up, they see the Bible, they see that you're from church, and they just start cussing you out, they're angry. So there's just starting to be this subculture in the United States that's just hostile toward Christianity, just truly haters of God. So all it takes is one person like that in an apartment complex or in an HOA neighborhood or whatever, and then, you know, they call the police and then the police say, well, you know, if somebody calls us, we have to respond, you know, no matter how dumb it is. <clears throat> Although I'm sure if I called about something dumb, they wouldn't respond. But they seem to feel like they always have to respond when somebody calls about soul winning. So the, you know, it just takes one of these atheistic, foaming at the mouth, God hating leftists to call in and complain and there are just so many people like that in America now, I guess, that you're just more likely to run into them. But the other reason is just that the police are just totally out of control. You know, they don't, they don't understand our rights as Americans. They don't understand the First Amendment. They don't understand the Fourth and Fifth Amendment. And we're losing our freedoms. We need to flex our rights because if we don't use our freedoms, we're going to lose our freedoms, okay? And, you know, a lot of people care about standing up for the Second Amendment or the Fourth Amendment, but we need to stand up for freedom of religion as well and, and the freedom to practice our religion. The Bible says daily in the temple and in every house they cease not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. And, and God told us to go into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that his house may be filled. So, you know, we're following clear commands of the Bible to preach the gospel to every creature, to go to every town, every village. And a lot of people's attitude is, well, you know, just skip apartment complexes or skip HOAs, skip the gated community, skip the Indian reservation, you know, skip all these places. Well, the way 
zona is, if we were to skip those places, we would literally be knocking less than half of the doors, okay? You know, in the city of Tempe, more than half of people live in apartment complexes. Um, and if you include the HOAs, anything that's uh, gated or community or neighborhoods that are set aside, you would literally be able to knock probably one third of the doors then legally if you're going to let them uh, stop us from doing this. And, you know, the Indian reservations are some of the most receptive places we go. We have great experiences on the Indian reservations. And, you know, we're not going to stop because, you know, the Indians need to hear the gospel and they, they like And so we're going to keep doing it. I mean, what's so stupid is that when these cops showed up last night and, you know, pulled these people away from the doors where they were evangelizing, the resident of the apartment complex was literally saying, no, I want to talk to them. I want to hear what they have to say. But the resident, I guess, doesn't have the right to hear what they have to say because the property manager told them to leave. Yeah, except that the tenant is the one who's paying to live there. The tenant is renting the property, and if the tenant wants to have a visit from church, it's on a tenant by tenant basis whether, you know, they want to have a visitor from church. I mean, look, if somebody doesn't want us to visit, then we're glad to leave. Like I said, I can't get out of there fast enough. But there are plenty of tenants who want to hear the gospel. They're glad that we're coming by and visiting them. And the cops are sitting there dragging people away from a door where the tenant is saying, I want to talk to these people. I'm glad they came by. So it, it's getting out of control, folks. And, and you know, all over America, we as soul winning Christians, we as Bible believing Baptists, you know, we need to push back against this stuff and not just roll over and die and say, well, I guess we just won't knock half the doors. No, I, you know, I, I'm going to knock all the doors. And um, if you let them take away your freedom in this instance, I guarantee you it won't be long until they say, that we can't knock any doors. You know, today it's the apartment complexes and HOAs, but I guarantee you that if you roll over and back down on this one, then next thing you know, you won't be able to do any soul winning. They'll say, well, you have to have a special permit to go door to door, and then they won't give it to you because you're a quote unquote hate group or something because you're a conservative Christian or you're for homeschooling or you're against vaccines or whatever. So uh, we need to stand up. We need to call the Chandler Police Department and complain because they're the ones who are the most abusive. They're the ones who, um, you know, actually arrested some of our church members just for evangelizing. And look, all these police departments are guilty because they all will come out and harass us and bully us and push us around. But the Chandler Police Department has taken it even further by actually arresting and citationing our church members and so we need to stand up for our rights in America we need to push back and not let the government infringe upon our freedom of religion and these God-hating atheists they need to just get over it you know if they don't want to hear the gospel all they have to say is no thank you and be a civil normal human being they don't have to uh, it, you know call these bullies to come out and and threaten us with violence and kidnap us and lock us in a cage so stand up for your rights and 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 you know if you haven't been soul winning in a while if you're a, if you're a christian you know it's time for you to get out and do some soul winning you know uh i guess it doesn't really matter if our right to go soul winning is taken away to somebody who doesn't even go soul winning so if you're a little backslidden out there you know get out and do some soul winning this week and uh exercise your right in, in, in America to exercise your religion and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And you know what, maybe if we had more people out preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and teaching the Bible, then there wouldn't be as much violent crime and we wouldn't even need the police to, to be out in force. So we should be making their job easier by getting people saved, getting the Holy Spirit into people and teaching people the Bible, then they won't be a drunk, then they won't be a drug addict, then they won't be a uh, thief or a, a murderer or a rapist or whatever if we can get them saved and teach them the Bible and preach against sin. You know, uh, we're actually helping the community become more godly, more righteous, and we're making the community a better place by winning people unto the Lord. God bless you. Have a great day.